this is how to undo your PS2. You gotta take these out. There's a screw. Gonna need a Phillips head screwdriver. Take out all six, eight screws, you turn it over. My internet thing. Cut the sticker, pocket knife. All the way down. I cut it right here too. There, it's coming off. Alrighty. Tiny screws. I see four on the disk drive. Alright. Some alcohol. Clean the lens. It's probably too much. What's going on? You better watch out. He's got some hands. Tried putting it the game in just by cleaning the lens and it still didn't work. I'll just sneak that open. Get under it. What? All right. So I'm gonna look and see what's under there. But still not reading the game. Let's try a DVD. True Lies. See? True Lies gets it. Won't play games. Here, I'm just gonna let the movie play in its entirety. Best movie ever made. I'm gonna try tightening the hex head. Alright, got an Allen wrench. Gonna turn it one click. Uh, going in deep guys tried everything else and that's working so I'm gonna take apart the laser assembly moving these four bolts holding in the laser assembly try cleaning the laser bottom laser part Alright. at this point you can very gently kind of lift up that laser carriage and with a fingernail, reach behind and unlatch the bail that holds the laser ribbon cable in place. The bail is that little plastic locking tab. You need to pop out either side of it. It'll maybe move uh, a couple of millimeters at the very most. That bail won't come out completely. But once it's loose, then you can very gently pull that ribbon cable out. With the ribbon cable disconnected, then you can take that entire laser carriage and kind of hinge it up to the right such that you can get at the bottom of the laser carriage, but you still don't have to disconnect the other two ribbon cables that are holding it to the rest of the drive. And what you're going to be tweaking are these potentiometers on the underside of the laser itself. If you look on the left side, that potentiometer is for the CD laser and the potentiometer on the right side is for the DVD laser. We need to adjust that potentiometer in order to kind of change the power of the laser, basically give it a little bit more juice. Maybe turn it a 16th of a turn, a very small amount. And here's how you can tell how you're dialing it in. I used a multimeter to check the ohms across this potentiometer. As you can see, I'm in the upper 1100s with the way it was set from the factory. But with just a very slight turn of that potentiometer clockwise, we've suddenly decreased the ohms down to about a thousand. And the thing is, you don't really want to go any below 850 ohms on that potentiometer because you're going to be giving the laser way too much power at that point. As I was saying, you take the potentiometer and you turn it and then you get the ohms. Uh, take the potentiometer and you get the ohms with the uh, mine's the left screw for the 
the CD is not working. So I'm going to adjust that potentiometer and get the ohms down. I snapped the ribbon. Now it's time to get the potentiometer and get the ohms down. The one on the left. Yep, he's right. DVD's on the right. There's CD. Hey guys, I got this. Look at the potentiometer. Here it comes. How do you even turn it? How do you turn it? Can't even see what the hell that is. What is that? Oh, it's a potentiometer. It's gotta do this. Get the arms down. All right, guys, I got the smallest flathead screwdriver I could find. This potentiometer is going to get tightened. Let me get my ohms. Come on. My voltmeter was giving me the low battery signal, so I took it apart. And now I'm going to replace the battery. Getting that ribbon back into that thing is a real... Pain in the ass. I had to pretty much hold two screws and jam it back in and wedge my useless whatever you call this between the laser and this circle thing to keep it in there. Putting the screws back on. Gold at the top, silver at the bottom. Alright, final test. See if that potentiometer did the trick. Did I forget something? Did I forget to put back something? No, it won't even close. There you go. Piece of shit. Well. Looks like I broke it. Another job well done. Thank you for watching. Smash that like button. Subscribe if you want some more how to's like this.